crafty friends, it's Audra Monk, the Crafty Yogi, and welcome to the Crafty Corner and your Yoga for Crafters video for this week or this month. Um, occasionally things get a little erratic, but if you're ever looking for them, um, if you go to IGTV, they're all in a series together. Um, and on YouTube, they're not quite there. I think there's some, like older ones. I need to put them all in a, I think you call it a playlist on YouTube. Anyway. So wherever you find this video, I'm super happy for you to join me. Whether you do crafting or you're just working, um, whether it's a, it does any, you know, I should be calling this yoga for life. I really should. Um, so anyway, we're going to take a really short break. So step away from whatever you're doing. Get to a comfortable chair or stool. Um, bring your knees in line with your hips. So a lot of us, our knees go in or our knees go out. So bring them in line. And then have your feet right under the knees. I know you can't see my feet, but that's okay. All right, we're gonna roll our shoulders three times. We're gonna bring them up, back, and down. Good, and again, up, back, and down. And one more, up, back, and down. Okay, so you feel how we already started to open the chest. We're gonna give it another go. Um, I think I'll, oh, excuse me, I'll turn to the side. Okay, let's see if I can do this right, okay. So what happens in our lives is that the shoulders round and the chest caves in a little bit. So that means our back is overstretched and our chest is too tight. So those big shoulder rolls can start to loosen that up and we're going to do a hold here. So roll them up and back and down in case you were like me and you were doing something else. Next, bring your hands to the back of your chair and then slide your butt way to the edge. So see how, so yes, you're bringing your chest out, but Think about the openness of the chest on the back body the shoulders are contracting in towards each other and you can use your hands like i have a pretty long arm so i'm going to bend at the elbows and you can use your hands to pull that uh the back together behind you good tuck your chin top of the head reaches toward the ceiling and pull your belly in gently let's take three breaths here together and what's really cool is what happens when we take our hands away so take an inhale and an exhale Repeat. One more. And then let your arms just come to hang at your side and feel for a moment where your back is. Now, I know I have a kind of a bulky sweatshirt on, but feel how it feels like your shoulders are coming down and they're right over your hips, right? So most likely we're not swaying or tucking. We're nice and even and we're even on our feet. So that right there is your like one minute yoga practice. You should do that probably at least every hour, if not every, you know, every couple hours when you take a break. All right, I'm gonna turn back so I can see you guys. But I'm gonna keep that good posture. So we've got this great posture going. And so we're gonna give a release to our hands, hands and wrists. I do them all the time because they get tight. All this texting and touching. <laughs> I, I, I joke, I go like this for texting. I don't text like this, I text like this. I'm like a one finger texter, so my pointer finger needs a release. Um, anyway, bring your hands up, open them wide. Okay, so there's three parts. One, two, yeah, I think there's three. So we make a soft fist, and then we call this bear claw. So they're, they're active and awake, and then we open them wide. Good, so bear claw, gentle fist, bear claw, open wide. Bear claw, gentle fist, bear claw, open wide. Good, and then bring your arms all the way out straight, Fingers spread wide, shoulders are still backing down, belly is in, and very gently, oh. So funny, I haven't even done my craft part yet. I did my workout, I taught a yoga class, I went to Target, it's Thai Thursday, so I got my Kitty Watt, mm, shout out to Kitty Watt, if you're in the Frederick area, mm, best Chinese, not Chinese, best Thai food, oh, take them down and up, Thai food there is, and they're so nice there, and I'm just saying, if you go there all the time and you're nice to them, they get to know your order when I call. They're like, oh, hi, Audra. You want your usual? <laughs> and I'm like, yep. Okay, so up and down. Oh, it was so good. So this afternoon, though, I am back on the die cutting and punching train. All right. And then wiggle them. Relax your arms down and let them rest. Oh, that feels amazing. Amazing. So there you go. I hope that that was just about five minutes, even with all my chitter chatter. 
Um, I hope that you feel amazing all day long. And if you need more videos like this, you can find them on my YouTube channel, um, The Crafty Yogi. You can find them here on Facebook and you can find them on IGTV. So it's all over the place. So give me a like, give me a love. Let me know that you're practicing with me. I adore, oh, I see some little loves coming up. I adore when people give me comments. Uh, even if it's like two weeks later, a month later, they find the video. It makes my little yoga teacher crafty heart so happy. So thank you so very much and I will see you next time.